What's going on with y'all, man? It's your boy Dan V. Hudson News, Hudson News Media, man. Who we got right here, man? Man, you got Sean Cobb from Say Cheese TV, man. man. How you doing? It's a blessing. It's an honor right here, man. Man, you know and little saying? do people know, man, we've been locked in for, sort of for a while. Yeah, for a while, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? See, the thing about it, like, I watched you since you had, like, 40,000 subscribers mm -hmm. going to Chicago, um, yeah. tapping in, like, trying to build a buzz, and now I see you to the position you is, and it just, it's nothing but motivation, yeah. you know, for me and all the local bloggers that's trying to, like, find a way in and out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, like, I, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say I steal from people, I steal from you, but I, like, sometimes I just take your, like, some things that you do yeah. and, and, and just, like, put it to my, my situation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To make my situation. We all, right? well, man, we all take from each other, man. Yeah. Academics take from me, I take from him. No jumper, Vlad, yeah. I take from Vlad. I told Vlad, like, man, your whole formula, like, that's, I was in Best Buy scrubbing <laughs> refrigerators watching Vlad. So, yeah. um, all this shit is like Walmart and Target. Like, yeah. it's, we all sell the same shit, it's just, you add some shits, you take away some shit. It's really all the same shit. Yeah, for I just real. look at it like this: ghosts take from ghosts. You know exactly. What I'm because in the day, Kobe looked up to Jordan. Yep. You know what I'm saying? LeBron probably looked up to Kobe or exactly. whoever, whoever yep. was the greatest at that time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So ghosts always look at ghosts to, be, to become a goat themselves. You yep. know what I'm saying? And like I said, at the end of the day, none of the blog niggas should be beefing or nah, like even when I remember. Like your 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 Instagram was getting strikes and shit, and we was, we communicated. Like I feel like just because somebody's somebody could watch my interview and still watch yours, right. or vice versa. Like it's enough money in it for everybody. Yeah, exactly. I feel like all the black blog media guys need to stick together. You see Adam interviewing Vlad. You see Vlad interviewing Adam. Right. That's how the game should go. Like I don't mm -hmm. feel like if you're successful, if you're eating, it's gonna stop me. Yeah. What you for what you eat don't make me shit. Mm -hmm. So it's like. Like vice versa, yeah, nah, and that's I why I even told Bird, like, man, I'm tapping in with Hoods and News, like, yeah. that's just how, it's how I gotta go. Yeah, facts, and you know I saying? appreciate that, man. For sure. Even after everything, though, I, I went on, I went on a whole rant on IG yeah, Live, nah, and everything. Bro. I used to, like, it's times where I used to go on rants. Me and Rod Wave and Robbie and our man yeah. went into it's a, it's a lot of that, but it's just, it's just growth and development. That's yeah, how yeah, I look I, at it. I think at that time I was a little bit more immature. Like at that time, um, I was just, I didn't really understand the status of me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My situation. And then on the low, it was kind of like cloud chasing, like in a way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I, we all did. I went in on academics before. He went in on. It's just that's the game. Yeah, like, yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? We're all young. Everybody's want to be accepted in this shit, man, yeah. and, and be taken serious. Like this ain't a part a part time job for you. Like this is something that you. You really bleed, yeah, sweat this shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I just quit my job for this. I was working while I was going on. There you go. And I, I couldn't do it no more. Yeah, and like I, I say, not to cut you off, the city need to show you your respect. Cause like I said, at the panel, like you DM me and let and keep you keep, you let me know what's going on in the right. city. And I see you get a lot of uh, headache and and a lot of people come for you, but they don't understand the shit you do behind the scenes. Yeah. Just because they don't see it on Instagram or Twitter don't mean it's not happening. Yeah, you let me know a lot of what's going on in the city. Yeah. And I'm saying that on camera, like you didn't tell me to say this. Like, yeah, I appreciate that. They just man. need to be patient with you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, man. But you need to pick your three D, your three DMB artists and match the gas with them too. Yeah, fact. That's my advice to you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Because yeah. as they go up, they're obligated to man DMB hoods and new, and that's how your brand grow. Mm. It's 50-50. If you helping them out, you pushing them. You got three or five favorites that you putting on your platform, and you letting the world know this is what's going on. They obligated to show you love when they blow up. You get a five percent cut. Anything management, anything. Wow. That's how you keep the. The, the 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 tunnel of success going. Yeah. But a lot of niggas, they get out, they blow up, and then they forget about you. Then it's hard to get an... I don't know. And, 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 that, and that happens a lot. That probably happened a lot with you during that time. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of shit I would have done differently, man. But it's yeah. like I said, man, we just in this shit not... You don't... Uh, this no. shit is... It's Vegas, bro. You don't know who's the next you, guy to blow. That, that's one of my main questions. Did you think Say Cheese was going to get to the situation that it is now? Uh... I didn't think it was gonna be this crazy, but man, it's just I just knew it was gonna change my life. I didn't know a lot yeah. of the shit that was gonna happen was gonna happen, but I just knew every day if I wake up and post, um, stay consistent with the content, something's gonna shake. Mm -hmm. I never did this shit to be rich. Mm -hmm. I just did this shit because I told you working at Best Buy that shit was torture. You basically was just trying to have some type of livelihood. Have some type of livelihood, change people's lives, and have 24 hours to create throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Freedom. I yeah. did this for freedom, bro. Yeah. I did this for freedom to survive and for every day to be different than my last. I, I felt every day having the same day is torture. Right. 
Right. You knowing at the end of the yes. day you're gonna make two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars, no matter how hard you work, is torture to me. I want something to work forward to. Right. So, so that's why like, I like did this shit for yeah. freedom. Yeah. You didn't do it to be a millionaire. You did it for free. But yeah, now, now you're in a situation that, it's different, but you never did it for yep, them. Now I can hire people and make them do what they do and right. put them in position. Yeah. That's really why I did this yeah. shit. So we're going to get right to the start, though. So you're originally from Philadelphia, yeah. right? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But you, you kind of grew up in... Yeah, I grew up in Texas. Yeah. I grew up in Arlington. Um, You know, my mom and dad was in the military, so... I mean, we all know how Philly is. It's like D.C. It's like Baltimore. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. So, I mean, in Texas, it's a new start. I mean, a lot of opportunity. You know, but I always was back and forth from, from Philly and Texas. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't have no family in, in Texas outside of my... All my cousins and aunts and uncles, they in Philly. Yeah. So, that's why I go back so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But, yeah, I grew up in Texas and then uh, good at basketball, threw a lot of parties and shit. Okay. So you um, was a you was a party promoter. Was I was like, uh, yeah I was real good at basketball, so that's really how I got my my clout at right. a young age. And then MySpace was was crazy. Yeah yeah. Um, right. So you know MySpace, I was like a MySpace celebrity, and then that got into. Uh, I graduated high school, work started working for my dad at the GameStop Distribution Center, and then I started throwing parties. Right. You know. So was that kind of like a start? Because I think you, like not saying that you're like clout chasing, but you had like a. Like kind of a local celebrity status. Yeah, I was kind of. So kind of made you feel like, damn, I'm about to be doing this and working at Best Buy and stuff. Like, nah, I mean, was it like that? People thought I was really going to the league mm-hmm. in basketball because I was good. I mean, yeah. I, in high side, I wasn't league good, but I was good. You know, yeah, everybody got their hood nigga that's good in yeah, basketball, yeah, fact, fact, fact. and you the sticky going to the league. So I used to a lot of people to tell them I was in college. Mm. I because people back ten years ago, if you didn't go to college, people thought you was a failure. It ain't like that now. You yeah, can get yeah, on right. YouTube and start your own little, you can get a camera and, you know, whatever. So back then, people, I didn't want people to think I was a failure. Right. So I told people I was going to this college back in Texas, and then I was just working for my dad. Right. So I didn't want people to, like, give up on me. Because mm-hmm. back then, that's how I was. If you didn't go to college, you was a, you was a bum. Mm-hmm. But now it's not like that. Right. So um, I started throwing parties and shit, and then one thing led to another. I, you know, Call of Duty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I threw this this party called Call of Booty, mm-hmm. Halloween party. I might have just stood it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that shit made around like fifty five hundred dollars, like wow. maybe like five grand. I don't know. That shit was a while ago. Yeah. Split that shit down the middle. I went and got a Canon camera, wow. and then that was the that was the beginning of everything, yeah, man. Yeah, I invested yeah. that twenty five hundred into Canon camera, a MacBook off Craigslist. I remember the MacBook probably cost like three hundred dollars, mm-hmm. and then after everything I bought. Uh, a mic, little shit like that, you know, little uh, the intro for Say Cheese. I probably had like twenty seven dollars left. Yep. You just you had a, you had a couple dollars in the drink. Couple dollars. What was the biggest struggles in the beginning? Um, really just that, like you know, I was living with my mom, so shit, paying my mom weekly fifty dollars a week. Really? Paying my mom fifty dollars a week. Um, I was at that time I was hustling like phone books and shit. Mm. So I was doing phone books. Um, I was selling fake car insurance, fake doctor notes. Mm. So that shit was getting me by. Really? Yeah, the fake the fake car insurance is like if, some, if a cop stop you, won't get a, a ticket. Okay. Because it looked like legit car insurance. Right, 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 right. And then um, I was selling doctor notes too. So if you want to take off work and not get in trouble, it looked like you went to the doctor. Not like like medicine prescription, yeah, but like yeah, yeah. sort of. I was selling them for like forty dollars a pop. <sighs> so the kids wouldn't get like. You know, they'll get excused at school and shit. I'm banking off that, but at, but still doing say cheese. Right, right, right. So I'm really like hustling for real. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah, shit, one thing led to another. So it wasn't like, because you said you, you had a hustle, but it wasn't never like in a thought in your process in your mind, like I'm about to run in the streets and get some street money. You know? it yeah, nothing. nah, nothing like that. It, it was just survival. I was just yeah. in survival. Like, right. man, this is how I got to get it until a viral moment break out. So at this time, I'm doing my YouTube. I'm making like $7 a day off YouTube. Seven dollars a day, but I'm just like shit. That's better than nothing because at the end of the month, that's like, that's like maybe like what one forty. Like I don't really? know, wow. you know what I'm saying? So, like shit, I was making a little bit of money, but it all add up. And then, um, at that time, I didn't have an Instagram. It was all YouTube doing like little local shit. Yeah, I remember that. And then boom. What you think was the moment that changed? Because my opinion, I think was when you went to Chicago. Chicago, and um. Like the sauce walker shit, like just yeah. little, just little shit. Right. But then the big shit was like going to like uh, Chicago for sure, and in Atlanta, like do interviewing like Rallo and shit like that in Atlanta, like you know just traveling and like 
you know, moving and grooving, like doing road trips and shit like that. That's what's right, really. That big one I saw was Soldier Boy, man. You know what I'm Soldier saying? Boy, yeah, that was 2000, like 15. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. What's going on with y'all? The love hate relationship? What's going I, on with that, man? I think, like, I think he on, I don't know. I think it's the drugs. You think so? Yeah. I mean, I think, I, I do feel like it's, it's something different about him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think it's the drugs. Yeah. I love Soldier Boy, though, because he did, like, one thing about Soldier Boy, he definitely gonna like, he definitely gonna fuck with the up and coming. Right. He definitely gonna do that. And he don't get his flowers. So, yeah. I don't really got no, I don't really got no ill will towards Soldier Boy for real. Because he did, like, when he wasn't doing interviews seven years ago, like, he let me come to his crib twice. Yeah. So, it ain't no, it ain't no bad blood. It's just like, he just be out of the nowhere, just like throwing shit in your face. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think Soldier Boy is cool, man. Yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he a legend for sure. He yeah, a legend, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah. But now, nah, just a, a little bit back on yourself, though, man. You know what I'm saying? What's probably, like, the biggest struggles you had to deal with being a blog? Besides, like, the beginnings. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, When 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 two people have beef and they both want to fuck with you. Mm. It's like, damn. I that all the time. It's like, damn. You fuck with one nigga, you choosing a side. You fuck with both people. You pick you. You being messy. You playing both sides. Mm -hmm. There's no in betweens in the media. Like damn, both of y'all want to tell their side of the story. If I just get his story, he gonna want to have beef with me because he thinking I'm choosing his side. Yeah. But if I do both sides and then somebody get hurt, they are gonna say it's hoods and news fault. Yeah, I've, but, I've, I've had that before. Yeah, so that's like the toughest thing is like the streets. Yeah. The streets and the internet is like a thin line. Yeah. Like think about, it, I'm a local blogger, so yeah. I'm dealing with one artist that's from this hood. He don't fuck with it. They just made a diss song. They yeah. want their shit posted. Then you be like, I can't pose it as a diss song. But then you be like, well, he was dissing this and this song. Well, I didn't know that. It was a subliminal. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it be like little shit like that, little man. Shit like yeah. That, so, man. you know, I, I go through that all the time, man. Yeah. I had threats and everything. Man, <laughs> how, how'd you deal with that? Um, I just be like, man, ain't nothing personal. You know, yeah. it's, just, it's never personal. It's just that I don't want to, you know, I'm not picking this side. Yeah. It's just that, you know, it's just that them type of little situations, the internet is going to escalate, it's going to make the situation worse. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's usually how I have to tell them. I say, anything else you want to promote? In fact, I'll even work deals out. I'll be like, bro, I'll post you another song for free. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll post another song for free. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If you could just let me fall back from this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. What well, do you think, like, like when in in, D, in the DMV, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of friction right now? All right, so you know, the DMV early, we, we new to rap. Yeah. So we come from the go-go. You, you know what go-go music is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. we come from that. So we know when the go-go's back in the days, it was hood beefs. Like, there one hood from here, one hood from there, and the band will shout that hood out, mm -hmm. and then they'll shout the other hood, and the big old fight, break out, shoot out, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We come from that era. So yeah. when the DMV rap scene came along, you know what I'm saying? They basically brought that mentality to the rap scene. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when you got a... Uh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say too many names, but you got this certain rapper. You got two of the biggest rappers in our, in our city right now. And you know what I'm saying? Like, they're the biggest rappers. They both hitting up millions of views, but they beefing. They right. going to jail over this shit. You know what I'm saying? They yep. going to jail. They got police investigating them. All type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When they not looking at the bigger picture of the situation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They not looking at the bigger picture. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's real messy. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, what, what, what is... Uh, oh, this is one thing I do want to bring up. So, remember that they were just talking about earlier in the meeting about... The DMV flow and stuff like yeah. that, right? And I remember we was on uh, what's the what's the uh, joint called? Um, Clubhouse. Clubhouse. We was on Clubhouse, and you said that the DMV flow was not marketable. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It was a marketable. But when we used the flow, and then we said out of town to use it and blow up with it. Who blew up from it? Um, uh, I see. You know, Splurge kind of Splurge. Splurge was kind of making the noise with it. I just said since '99, yeah. he had a big song with that. I think. Yeah. Yeah, and now he's he's elevated, and has a career on yeah, it. Yeah. Where he's making a, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a very few artists I can think of. Uzi. <laughs> Uzi. I see Uzi getting flagged for the yeah. shit he just dropped. Uzi. Yeah, hey, Uzi one of them too. You know what I'm saying? And he tapped in with the DMV, so yeah. we're not really too mad at him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We're not really too mad at him. But it, even with Soldier Boy, I remember when uh, Shabazz, I don't know if you remember with yeah, Shabazz. Yeah. When Shabazz was blowing up, Shabazz, uh, uh, Soldier Boy got on that flow real yeah. quick. Uh -huh. And people in the city like, he nah, did. you got to check in. Like, what's going on? He did. Like, he did. So, like, I think it's unique because a lot of people felt some type of way about it. I think the flow is unique, but I don't think... I don't know if it can take you to the next level. That's all I was saying. But like, who has a gold record from that flow? Who who? It's made a lot of careers. Yes, it, it birth started a lot of careers. But my thing was like, I don't think it's a. I don't think it's a national flow. I don't think it's. I don't think it's. A, I don't think it's a national thing. All right, I got two things to say about that. What if Drake start doing? What if Drake say I'm gonna use the DMV flow? Cause you see, he 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 touches all cultures. 
Yeah. You see, he got into all type of different stuff. So what, I think he can have a moment. Yeah, he do that one moment for it, and then he do some. He do the damn flow one day. I think he can have a moment. And I look, and the reason why I say this is because everybody has every region has their own flow. Yeah, I mean, I was looking at the Detroit. I was looking at the Detroit rappers before the Detroit rappers. Well, I was looking at your platform yeah. in Detroit, yeah, like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking at them and look at how they flow with that's, how that's they That's true too, because a lot of people said they used to rap off beat. Yeah. Yeah, you know a lot of people used to say that too. Yeah. Uh I I, I personally like the DMV flow. That's why, you know, I started working with the cuter fools and the goo news and shit like that. Yeah. I just uh I don't I don't know. I don't know if it could take artists to the next level. I'm not telling artists to stop doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling them to be you, but I don't know yeah. about I don't know. I think I think the problem is is that it's the lack of originality with the flow. You know what I'm saying? They don't have their own original style. I just think an they artist just take it as a default and say I'm just gonna use that flow. Yeah, I think artists in the DMV. I just feel like one artist just needs to to brand themselves. Yeah. I feel like like you said, D the DMV, y'all are really like you know a close knit community closed off. Y'all yeah. don't really talk much. Y'all y'all fuck with who y'all fuck with who mm -hmm. y'all fuck with. So it's like a lot of people. I don't think they're really from. They know what's going on out here, but I just don't know if like it just needs to be that one guy who who brands himself really good, mm -hmm. who's on all the blogs, who can't miss him. He's around all the rappers. He's traveling everywhere. Yeah, like, I think what it is out here, and I get this a lot, like you know, especially with me running the local. But it's a lot of self entitlement. Mm -hmm. People feel like they're too good out here. You know what I'm saying? To do anything, mm -hmm. it's a lot of stuff. So it's, it's it's people right now texting me right now, like. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you did this for this person. You ain't do that. Why you ain't do that for me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This at a third, and they ain't like they ain't even earn no position. I don't even know like really know you like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No disrespect to you. You know what I'm saying? They think because they're talented that it's gonna equal success. Yeah. But they don't understand the music industry is a business. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So can you break that down to the people, especially yeah. people from out here? Yeah, I just feel like uh, everything you just said is true though. Like it's it's really a business. Niggas gotta start feeling like that. Niggas gotta start feeling obligated and entitled. Like. Um, niggas, hoods and news don't owe you shit. Right. Invest in yourself. Why are niggas not investing in them? Everybody think they so cool, but they going out here buying all these expensive clothes, all these shoes and jewelry, but not putting that shit into their rap. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, you got to bring people to your world. You know what I'm saying? And uh, go out here, mingle with these artists. Mingle, pay for a feature if you got to. You know what I'm saying? And bring people to your world, man. Yeah. Bring people to D.C., show them how it's really done. Yeah. And I think that's what it I is. I just feel it's one moment away. And, yeah. and, 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 you know, that's really why I wanted to come out here, too. I feel like D.C. is so versatile, man. Like, this chocolate city, bro. Like, yeah. this is like... It's Caramel City now. Caramel City now. <laughs> the gentrification. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot of, oh, that's what they call it yeah, now? Gentrification. Yeah, gentrification. Oh, yeah, okay. because, you know, we got... Yeah, you know, I, I'm noticing yeah, that. Yeah, neighborhoods getting gentrified. Yeah, you know, It yeah, wasn't yeah. in D.C. back in the 90s. And right, stuff, right, 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 right. It's still, it's still chocolate city by heart. Yeah, I still feel like it's a moment away, though. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot of... It's a lot of good shit going on, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man, y'all need to y'all need to invest, man. Pay hoods, act, man. Y'all need to treat hoods and news like it's say cheese, man. Mm -hmm. Pay him what he want. But I know you probably had your flag from the uh, artists too. Of course, I got my every city. Yeah, every city. Yeah, what, man? Every city give me flag, man. Mm -hmm. Every city give me flag, but it, it's just what comes with it. Everybody's yeah. me, 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 me. They not they not looking at you know who you are helping. They looking at man, he's not helping me, and it shouldn't be like that. It's only one of you. I know you got a group of people, team of people, but people need to realize what's really going on. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than you. It's a business. You got people you got to feed. You got a family you got to feed. I don't know. Yeah, you I got do. kids or not, but yeah. um, you you know, you rent, rent, rent due at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, people need to realize that, man, and people need to pay you what you feel like you're worth. Mm -hmm. Nah, no lie. For sure. And one day by me, shit, I get people what they worth, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You invest right. in yourself and make sure that you get everything that you, you deserve. You know what I'm saying? In that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, I think you brought up one inter uh, interesting topic earlier. You know what I'm saying? About how the DMV rappers, they don't really sell themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just want to present their music. music and music, that's it. Music, and that, and that, that, you say that's, a, that's everybody. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's every city. But... You you said especially for the DMV artists they need to promote their self and who they are. It needs to be something about one of these artists, yeah. something special, mm -hmm. something special. Whether if it's the way you dress, whether if it's, it needs to be some type of it factor about you. Right. A lot of these dudes are talented, but they're not opinionated. We don't know how you feel. We don't know your personality. We don't know if you're funny. We don't know anything. Tell us where you're from. What's your favorite food? Mm -hmm. What's something different about you? I don't I don't know anything. Tell me something. Yeah, All content is good content. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
we don't see anything from these people that make me like them outside of music. Sometimes the fans fall in love with the lifestyle before the artist. Mm -hmm. Or let's say you like, uh, I don't fucking know, Fruit Punch. And if an artist comes out and say he likes Fruit Punch, damn, people like to feel like they're related to somebody. You know what I mean? It's deeper than just the music. Right. You see they what I'm saying? They kind of want to get to know who they you are. To know who you, are. you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like these niggas out so, here, they not vocal. Baltimore is worse. Baltimore, I be looking around trying to look for Baltimore. Baltimore is worse. Yeah. And you know what I think it is? Like, I just brought back to you. And our area and our region, we just so, like, we try to be so street. We try to be, like, you know what I'm saying? We try you to can be still so be street, but just, just put the camera on. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you feel. How you feel about Kanye wearing the, the White Lives Matter shit? Man, fuck Kanye. All that's content. Right. All that is content. And guess what? It leads back up to the music. Right. That's all I'm saying. I work a blog site, bro. I see the numbers. You can go and say cheese. Too. I can go and say cheese, right? I can post Aunt Glizzy. I keep using this name, and I know y'all hate it, but <laughs> shout out, <laughs> shout out to Aunt. I, I, Aunt Glizzy go in on Kanye West, and I put that on say cheese is going to do three hundred fifty thousand views. He's going to get twenty thousand followers. Right. Picture if the music is good, then you do that, yeah. and people they they scrolling through your page, and and it's not clout chasing, bro. It's just all about it's you buying these new shoes, and I'm the only nigga in the city, man. I got these baby blue 07 Air Force, whatever. Anything is content. Right. Anything is content. Like, who started the Navy Blue Book? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 anything is content, man. Mm -hmm. All this shit is content. I think people just get too far into music, 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 and, and that, you kind of got to finesse your music now through the through the pipeline. Mm -hmm. So that's that's just my take on it. Yeah. But y'all do y'all. If y'all feel like that work, I'm not here I to stop like y'all hustle. I'm, I'm here to tell them like it. I don't want to stop nobody hustle. I just know that, that that's that's the that's that's really what's going on. Mm -hmm. So yeah, man. Um, you know what I'm saying. Before we get about, because I know you got a move to go make. You good? You good? We good? Yeah, but now, um, yeah. One last thing. What made you want to pick DC, man? Out of all the places. I think I think it's something special in DC, man. I think it's way. And don't get it twisted. The drill rappers come out. You know, come out, fuck with me. But I just think it's more of a variety of shit that's going on in DC. Like I see a lot of soul, neo soul, R and B, pop. And I see all different flavors in DC. A lot of these different, a lot of these different, these different cities don't have the different flavors. Right. I'm here to look at. I want to see every flavor. I want the R&B. I want the 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 the, the chocolate R&B singer. I want the neo soul. Yeah, we got all that. Yeah, I want most, that. Most That's why our, I came. Most of our singers come from out here, genuine. Yeah. <laughs> we come from PG County and mm -hmm. Tank and all of them. Yeah. So we have a whole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We have a whole like even like Foggy Raw just went viral. Like he's on some different shit. He's on some Andre 3000 yeah, type yeah. shit. I just know DC got that, and I just wanted to come see it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I know, I know, I know the DMV is a special place that hardly gets the attention because it's, it's so much going on. But um, I was just like, you know, fuck that. I'm gonna come out here and, and, and tap in with Hoods and News and Bird and, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and try to try to see what we can do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. You know, I know this shit gonna help your shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I appreciate so, that. I definitely appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? And, what you think is that last, what, what you think is that step? You know what I'm saying? I know we spoke about it early before, but what you think is that step for the DMV artists, like the DMV, DC, Maryland artists? Uh, start traveling more. Mm -hmm. Go to go link with a Florida nigga. Go link with an Atlanta yeah. nigga. Y'all niggas rapping about money, talk all that shit. Go go, go spend five, ten thousand 10000 for a feature with uh, that, one of them Detroit niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go to these, go to these little... It's like we don't even see y'all in the we don't even see y'all in the in, in 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 the rotations. Mm -hmm. We don't see no DC cool young DC niggas standing next to the cool young Detroit niggas. Mm -hmm. Where is it at? Like where they not networking? Yeah, it's not. Y'all ain't y'all ain't in the mix. Like where them young Baltimore niggas in DC? We we know it's real. We mm -hmm. see y'all on the news. Yeah, we see what's going on in these in these crazy hot DC summers. We right. see what's going on. But y'all, these niggas not standing next to, to what's going on. Right. You got to kind of stand next to the motion and let the world know, okay, this Detroit, this how a Detroit nigga moving or this how a Chicago nigga moving or a St. Louis, or St. Louis nigga moving. But in D.C., this how we moving. This how we coming. Yeah. These new balances that everybody's starting to wear, where we started that shit. It ain't a young nigga that's putting that shit out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all I'm saying is like, man, y'all just need, just need to start getting, niggas need to start getting in the rooms and shit. Yeah. Thanks, so. man. I definitely appreciate this interview right here, man. I know yeah. you gotta step out. Hey, you did say you gonna try that chicken wing and mumbo, so man, yeah, I haven't got to try it. Yeah. I'm rushed here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm definitely. Hey, we're gonna nigga up for the conference, man. I'm definitely bringing a plate. What, what's bro. your expectations on tomorrow, though? Hmm. What's your expectations on tomorrow? Bloody crazy. 
Cause I got crazy. people from out of town saying they about to pop up out here. I got people, you know what I'm saying? But one day we about to we we gonna shine out. Yeah. We definitely gonna take over that month. Yeah. There was a everybody DC man. There's a lot of people from um the Carolinas coming. Yeah. A lot of yeah. people from New Jersey. Yeah. Those are cousins right there. They yeah. Know, so yeah, they definitely gonna pop up. Yeah. Yeah. Philly, they they gonna pop up. New York, everybody. Uh-huh. Really, mostly East Coast, coast, but you got right. some people from the South too. Yeah, you know for sure, like? man. I appreciate this interview, and uh, I gotta throw you on my shit too. It's only mm-hmm. right that we swap out, bro. Cause I want your, uh, I want your opinion on like DC shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I appreciate so, it. Yeah, we could definitely yeah. do that, man. It's a pleasure. Like I ain't. I ain't just I ain't blowing no smoke either, cause uh, I'ma have Victoria come back through here. She's my she does a lot of my you know my interviews a lot of the interviews I don't really be physically there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I might have her come out here and I I'll get you one. Um, me and Aunt Glizzy supposed to be circling back around. Yeah. Um, and then uh probably try to get like a a, a fit. What's his name, baby? Uh, we are gonna try for baby fit. He's the yeah, he's probably know. if you want to talk to baby, you right there on MLK right now. He's right there. Oh <laughs> he's right God. there. Not saying literally, but I'm yeah. saying that's where he's at right now. He's on Melo. Yeah. He's on Mel- Martin Luther King and Melo right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is not still recording. Nigga. Oh, wow. Uh, so, what, like, with, with the with the Gunu and, like, Q the Fool shit, we don't got to talk about it on camera, but, like, what, what was, like, just, like, your stance on it? Because I know you are... You know, it was crazy because, all right, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, we keep on recording on this part because I'll talk about yeah. it. I'll get the people. And I'm gonna I just wanted to talk about we So, here. like, I think, I think what it was is, like, Really, I, I just think really under the day it was a misunderstanding because if you see Q the Fool, he was Q the Fool in his early videos. He was with Little Dude. Mm-hmm. He was with Baby I. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. those rappers. He was with those rappers before they got the beef and, and the politics came side. The murder rappers was doing what the DC rappers was supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And when I mean murder, I mean PG County, Montgomery County, like that surrounds DC. Mm-hmm. They was doing what they were doing. They was going viral on Twitter. They was doing big numbers. Rigo Nasty, Q the Fool, yeah. Shabazz, Big Flop. Little dude, they was doing that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just think they politics, they politics got in the way of that shit too, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like I said, like I really feel like I said before, the PG County rappers really put on for the region, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. On that national yeah. level, we had a good select. We were, of course, you know, Shy Glizzy, Trail, um, some people consider Light Show too, you know what I'm saying? And like we had, of course, Wild Light. Uh, Light Show from DC, right? Yeah, Light Show. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, him yeah. a while, while ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like more hip hop on the hip hop. Yeah, he's on the right? more yeah, rap yeah. side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's more on the rap side, but like, like um, when the PG County rappers came in, they came in full force. Yeah, they, was they getting did. Millions of views. They didn't even know what to do uh-huh. with it. So I think what happened was they really fucked up that cloud when they got into the. They was doing the same thing that the Merlin, the DC rappers did. You know, yeah. which was beef. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which was getting to all the type of beef shit. You know what I'm saying? I think that fucked it up. You know what I'm saying? This, that, and third. I, don't, I really keep it 100. I don't know how far it went in the background. Because, you yeah. know, at one point, I was doing stories on my YouTube about it. Like, Q the Fool said this, Gunu say this, or Gunu Lil Dude fight this. Yeah, I remember that. You know that. what I'm saying? I was doing a lot of that. And I don't know why I slowed down on it because I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes bloggers can be instigated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's That's a level. True. You know what I'm saying? Because I think at a level, true. we do have to be. Yeah. Dramatic, but sometimes you don't want to keep instigating that That's shit, fire true. that shit up just yeah. so they can get on the and because of news. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, like, prime example, we have a Instagram page called Murder Mayhem. They track all the murders in DC, right? Damn. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? It got to the point where the Robbins fan, we're going to put you on Murder Mayhem. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It got that bad. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I think a level one So I really slowed down on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, and once I slowed down on it, uh, I'm not saying I was the cause of it. Mm-hmm. I feel like the beef slowed down. Yeah. Something. Cause that's the cause, though. I mean, a lot of people do will do whatever to get on the yeah. say cheese or hoods and news. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They, and they know, and, and at that part, they 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 know it. Like, man, they they know if they diss a nigga or say something disrespectful. <laughs> and when you slow down, a lot of that shit will calm down. Yeah, it'll, it'll calm not, down. We're not saying that nobody still won't. Yeah, it's probably still smoke. It's still going to happen, yeah. but niggas can't look at you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? They can't look at you to blame, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we do have to hold some type of responsibility. Not uh-huh. saying it's all our fault, because we don't make nobody pick up a gun and say, or oh, go oh, go to a studio and make it this song. We don't make you do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I wish people would understand that. But after a while, if you keep egging on what's going on between these two, then it's going sooner or later. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Into a bad situation. Most I feel like, you know, at the time they were young, so I feel like if Guna was still alive and they was older, it could have been a conversation. And they yeah. y'all, y'all had to be friends, you know what I'm saying? Kick it, kick it, buddy, buddy. Because I know some beefs are just never going to be squashed. Mm-hmm. Like a Ja Rule and 50 said, that yeah, would never get squashed. Yeah. So if it's a situation like that, we understand that. But if there's a situation where you be like, you go your way, we go our way, 
and was just putting the city on the map. We ain't got to be friends. We ain't got to kick it. We got to be in the studio. We ain't got to hang out, make beats together. Mm-hmm. None of that. You go your way, we go our way. That's it. Let's get this money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, and 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 and, and, and I think the DMV, DMV, especially DC, is too much ego mm-hmm. on the side because you got the, you got the female saying, oh yeah, you looking sweet. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you know, like I say, it's street, it's street dudes. They real loud. Pay two hundred, three hundred dollars for a video. Go shoot a video. Go diss they ops. They go up. Mm-hmm. It's like a baby Chicago out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In a Chicago way. turned the world yeah. out. So look, we about to get off here, but I do want to ask you if you had to bet on one artist, who would it be? I would bet on an artist that's versed. You know like what I'm who? saying? I, I like an artist name. Like it's an artist I know, Vish. Vish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Vish. Because I feel like it's multi. It's it's, it's multi. It, it can take you global. Like he could be performing in. You know, he's originally Indian, but he grew up in Uptown DC, the side of DC I'm from. So he grew up in Uptown. You be, so. you, you be pushing him sometimes? Or? Yeah, I do push him. You, 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 you posted him before. Oh, okay. Like, you jump know, off the put. Like he went viral on your shit. Damn. Yeah, he went viral. Yeah, he went. He did like about. Was that a few months? Was that way? It was like a year, year ago. ago. Hey, remember at least talking about man. He ain't from DC. He's actually from was DC. He, in a, he was in the comments saying that. Andrew? He was like, yeah. I think least, I remember that. Yeah, shit. he was like, he ain't from DC, and it just I went think crazy. I remember that shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I know you just said well, he coming tomorrow. I'm, I'm gonna call him. Tell him to come tomorrow. Yeah. I'm gonna call him tomorrow. Tell him to come tomorrow. Uh, another yeah. one, monster. That's my dog. Monster. Yeah, monster. He's from Virginia actually. He's from uh, Northern Virginia. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he had the song with Big Flop, the uh, oh, okay. the, the I'm capping joint. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. joint went up on your joint. I think, yeah, I think yeah. your joint did like nine hundred thousand, one million. On that. Yeah, it went crazy on yours. You know what I'm saying? Sheesh. Yeah. Those shit went crazy, so. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that was probably the, the two for real, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, it's a couple of other artists though I like, but I think it feel is like marketability and being able to promote them, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, in a proper way, those would be the two. Yeah, okay. Most definitely, yeah. y'all heard it here first, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, we definitely gone. It's your boy, Dave V. Huzzanu. Shout out to Sean Cotton. We out. Thanks for this interview. We gone. Yeah. Man, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, let me let me get a picture of y'all to go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plug that mic so you can go over there. So let's do it.